So in New York City, there are three laws that govern most discrimination cases. The first is the federal law, which is also known as Title VII. The second is the New York State Human Rights Law. And the third is the New York City Human Rights Law. The New York City Human Rights Law is by far the broadest law of the three. The statute provides that it is to be interpreted more broadly than its state and federal counterparts. Employees working in New York City are protected by one of the most expansive and broadest human rights laws in the country. It was enacted in the early 1990s, and back then there was a real concern that the law would be struck down as unconstitutional because the federal government and New York State had already enacted their own human rights laws. We were involved in the first case brought under that law. The employer argued to the court that the law was unconstitutional, and we were fortunate that the trial court and the appellate court both agreed that this was an important law, that it was constitutional, and the city council had the right to enact a law just for workers in the city of New York. We feel very grateful and proud of the work we do advocating for employees who are stuck in silence. Under the New York City human rights law, employees are protected from any action that would be qualified as being treated less well than their coworkers. So really the court will look very specifically at what it is that you are saying is happening to you and ask itself, is this a situation where this employee has been treated less well than other employees? A lot of people wonder if they're really covered under the law, if what they've experienced rises to the level of being discrimination or a violation of their human rights. Anytime someone's treated differently because of their gender or disability or age, that's a violation of their human rights. And that's what the law is intended to protect. And that's what we can help people with here at Schwartz Perry and Ella. If you feel as though you're being treated differently because of your age, your race, your nationality, your gender, your sexual orientation, or a disability among other protected reasons, you should contact an experienced employment lawyer.